words. Pretty ugly, pretty gray. Over the years, for me, it's stunning. The viaduct has been labeled big, noisy, disruptive, with more adverbs and adjectives bittersweet. than graffiti. You know, it's kind of an icon of Seattle. A car conveyor with enough traffic. I seen the first wheel to allow plenty of time to pause uh, and reflect. I see a bunch of semi trucks and going one way. The traffic is is look like it's shitty. Did I, I, did, can I say that? Okay, my bad. There is no person that lives in Seattle that doesn't have a memory about this viaduct. Alex Ariola says he could see it all. The market, the grave wheel, baseball, the waterfront. I mean, you just name it. He found calm in the concrete. It will relax me and it will just remind me the importance and, and, and the beauty of living in Seattle. Scott Bonjukian is ready to move on from the grand old lady which has stood here for 65 years, hovering over his childhood. Coming over on the ferry, and right when you step off the ferry, the first thing you notice is uh, the size of it and also the noise of it. And so is Allison Rockwell. And it's good to say goodbye today to a piece of concrete. Ready to replace the double-decker with a new vision. More new memories will be created in the future. More views, less noise, and soon, it will be a structure known as just one word, gone. Kind of sounds weird that you're gonna miss a road, but, but I, I will. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.